Wow, this world is boring. Let's change that by adding everybody's favorite circus themed characters into the world. And of course, we'll be starting out with the most mentally stable character of them all. That's right, Kingar. Yeah. Which should be pretty easy, considering he's basically just a tube of toothpaste with a chess piece on top. Warning. Warning. Supremely satisfying, smoothening alert. And there you have it. Kinger. <laughs> Definitely looks like him. And after adding some of that delicious toothpaste on the outside of him, uh, I added his wooden bits and then bobs and then boom, you pretty much just have Kinger. These nice bazonging eyes. <laughs> oh yeah, it's perfect. Boom, and now we put a little bit of this on top and we're good to go. And there you go, we got Kinger. And now it was time for the dreaded moment that we've all been waiting for. His hands. Yes, an insurmountable accomplishment. Just a purely impossible feat to sculpt a hand out of your blob. But alas, I persevered and ended up with something somewhat resembling a hand. And there you go. He was complete. You know, Kinger's a nice little character, but I just... I'm gonna be honest, I just can't understand, like, I can't... I can't relate to him enough, you know? It's just like... I think he just needs more facial features so that I could properly understand his emotions and, you know, what he's really going through. So, let's give him a little mouth. Yeah, let's give him some voluptuous lips. Mm, beautiful. Give him some beautiful shining white teeth. Of course, you have to make them a little sharp so they could actually properly chew things and, you know, emote much, much better and more clearly. Of course, you need a little snaz, them little sniffers right there. <laughs> Yo! What a beautiful little guy, you see, and I can really tell what he's feeling. Give him some eyebrows, you know. Maybe give him a little unibrow as well. <laughs> and he's beautiful. Oh, hell yeah. Ain't that just so much better, right? It's just, you can really fear him properly now. I mean, love him even more, so. And you know, you know, the only thing he's really missing is, well, a new voice, right? I mean, he's got a new nose and, uh, and mouth and everything. Like, he needs a new voice. And, you know, I'm happy to give it to him, so. You better subscribe or I'll obstruct your lungs. <laughs> and now it was time to build Gango, which is basically just a spiral. And, of course, I made them supremely buff on one side, as one should. It looks very wrong, I'm gonna be honest. Smooth it out a little bit, you know, make it more shape. Nice and smooth, just how it should be. This <laughs> looks like a chicken leg, bro. <laughs> I need some more definition, man, I don't know. Smooth it out more? I don't know how to fix that. That's not how human arm look. That's alright, I'll just make the face. The face will look good, right? Right? Make sure, sure to, to lock, lock your, your doors tonight. tonight. <laughs> And now for the next victim. I mean, I mean character is Jax. Yep, there he is. Build his legs up and torso, of course. Classic. Give him a nice bulbous head. The only thing is, I ran into a little bit of an issue, and that is his ears reach the build limit, and so I decided to take some creative liberties, and now he's canonically an ant. Oh yeah, and I almost forgot to mention. Oh, and also... <laughs> yep. Perfect, that's exactly what I wanted. Why doesn't he look happy? I'm like 100% certain that that's how Jax looks. Bro, he built like a twig! And of course, as a finishing touch, I gave him some nipples. And there you go, he's finished. And he's only like one axe and two blood splats away from being a crazed bunny murderer. However, before he could start any of his murdering, I ran him over with a truck. I mean the smoothing tool. And isn't he just a perfect little fella now? On to the next victim. And that victim being everybody's favorite amalgamation of random parts. Zubal. Couldn't really mess this one up very much considering she's already so messed up. 
Well, it turned out pretty good, actually. The only problem was the face. You know what would make this even better? A smoothening. <laughs> I don't know about that. I don't know about that one. Um, doesn't look good either way. Now, the only question is, why don't they use cubes for the actual angular character? Why do they use cubes for other things instead of the actual angular character? What is wrong with me? I think that will need a little bit of smoothening. <laughs> Never mind. Oh my god, that looks so fucked. Thankfully, however, after putting in all the eyeballs, it kind of distracts you from how bad it really is. Now, the only problem left is that, well, Duel has the same problem as Kinger. And that is, she just lacks a face. She's only two floating eyeballs. How am I ever supposed to tell what she's thinking? Well, let's fix that. Let's add her little mouth. Look at that. Look at that little mouth. Look at them teepers. Mm. What do you have to say for yourself, Zubal? Oh my god, I cannot believe you just gave me a mouth. That's so disgusting. And to pay for it, I'm gonna steal your kidneys and sell them on eBay. That's right. You better believe it, biatch. And now, it was time to build Ragatha. And then and, and that's it, best. That's it. Ragatha done, baby. What, what do you mean there's no terracotta? What do you mean? It's literally called terracotta. Why is it like this? After complaining about not being able to find terracotta, I quickly built up her legs and made her entire dress pretty much. You know, started on the dress and then just kept going in circles in, uh, constantly until finally the entire dress was completed. Then I struggled a little bit with the arm shape, honestly. <laughs> Really couldn't get it to be how I wanted it to, so I kind of just gave up and tried to make her buff, which also didn't work very well, of course. Give her some lovely little hair and, and whatnot, raggy, raggy little hair. A little bow tie on top, you know, just a nice little addition. Just staying true to the model. I wanted to give her arms more definition, but, you know, didn't work very well, and so I gave up. And there it is. For building the face, honestly, not much to say here. It turned out really well, surprisingly. Her buff-ass arms don't even look that weird. They look semi-normal, which is unbelievable. And now, it was time to build everybody's favorite pair of eyes within indentures. That's right. It was time to build Kane. And, of course, after shaping up his little tootsies, I gave him a lovely little suit. I, it wasn't the exact color from the show. I wasn't really sure what blocks to use, so I just went with something that is vaguely the same. Of course, gave them details to his suit, made bow ties, and made his arms beautiful, strong little arms curved to perfection. Of course, made his gloves, and then, or at least one glove, made the wand, made the other glove, which actually turned out quite all right. And now. We can move on to teeth, baby. Hell yes. Just needs this boy needs some of his clackers intact, doesn't he? He does also have a, a top hat. Let's make the top hat. Not sure how to make this. I know exactly how to make this. I'm just gonna make it. Turns out that in fact I did not know how to make it, considering that it turned out pretty bad. But I just kind of rolled with it, you know. Trust is just a happy little accent, as Bob Ross would say. And now it was time for his beautiful little eyeballs. <laughs> Perfect, done. <laughs> he just looks dumbfounded, man. He just cannot believe what he's seeing with his two little dot eyes. Let's give him, let's give him some bigger bazongers. And there you go, you have your little, lovely little boy can. No, uh. <laughs> You did not just say that. And you know, I can't help but emphasize with Kane. He just, he's missing a very, very important human sense. And that is smell. He doesn't have a nose. He doesn't have a little schnoz. Like, how can he possibly know what things smell like? Like, I think it is very important that I show him how. 
And there you go. Now, Kane can properly enjoy the wonders of smell. Ain't that right, Kane? What, what, what you smellin', Kane? I'm smelling, I'm smelling something. <clears throat> yes, I'm smelling that. You stinky. And now that we've fulfilled his long life's dream, <laughs> we can finally move on to the last victim. And of course, as a final act, I just had to make her actually look pretty decent. Of course, as always, I started with the legs, made the little balls that she has. <laughs> That sounds really weird. Made the body, of course. Thankfully, it's very easy, and I could just, like, separate it into two colors. <laughs> Made some more balls. They were a little too close, so I just, you know, I moved them a little bit. Uh, put on her throbbing, massive head, you know, plenty of that brain power. Then, of course, I painted all the balls to the corresponding colors. Added in some of the golden details of the hat. Sculpted the hat, and then there you go. That's pretty much it. After the hat, it looked very nice. It was pretty much all coming together it was splendidly, honestly. Just had to color in a couple of the last things in her hands, do a little just show, which actually pretty much the best hands I, I, I've built this entire time. And then I've just painted on her eyes, very easy, honestly. And then painted a little bit of shadow onto them, made a little frown. Then, of course, I sculpted her hair, which, um, well, half of it looked pretty good, and then the, well, one side looked normal, and the other side looked a little wonky. But I couldn't be bothered to fix it, so I didn't. And there you have it. Or Pomni, I guess. And now, not only did Pomni get dragged to the digital circus, but now she can live in Minecraft as well. Ain't that just the greatest thing ever that's ever happened to you, Pomni? be demonstrating what happens when you don't have any guidelines on how big each of the characters are everybody gangster till gangle show up i really i really messed up all the all the sizes of everybody i'm gonna be honest they're all so wildly different <laughs> this is so messed up i can't even see them all they're so gigantic okay kinger is a small little fella he's the smallest of them all what happened to Jax's leg? Did Jax just... What happened to Jax in general? I really don't know why I made them so big. There you go, perfect. There's not anything wrong with how they're made. To be honest, Jax is about the right size compared to Pomni, but then everybody else is just fucked. This is all sorts of messed up and I love it. This is fantastic, what a happy little family. Sure do hope nothing bad happens to them. Oh, yeah. Wait, what's that sound? Oh, no.